Hi, we are starting a new unit. It's our drama unit. <clears throat> so to start this drama unit for the play A Christmas Carol, we need to give you some background information. Before you begin a play, you need to think of it in terms of like reading any other novel or any other piece of literature. And you need to understand the author's time and his place. And <clears throat> you need to build some background knowledge. And that really helps you to understand the characters. Now, so what you'll do for this particular assignment today is you will read over all of the information provided on slides two through 12. <clears throat> so two all the way through, sorry, two through 17, two through 17. And then you will uh, click and watch any video links if you can get to those. I will show you some video links in class as well. <clears throat> and then you'll use all the slide information to answer slide 18 as a wrap up and a review of what you read. <clears throat> and it will start off talking about Charles Dickens. If you notice Charles Dickens, his time, he lived in the time period of 1812 through 1870. We call this the 19th century. And it, the, the river uh, Thames was the important river of the 19th century. And here are some pictures of the streets of London in the 19th century. Also during that time, we have what we call the Victorian age. And you can read all about Queen Victoria and her reign during that time. That's why we call it the Victorian age. And so we talk about the Victorian age, everything that was going on in London at the time. Please read carefully the information about most of the people. And look at this as far as the rich becoming poor and the poor becoming poor. If you look at this, 90% of the people at the time were poor, which is most of the people. So nine out of 10 people were poor. 5% were middle class, which is very small amount of people. That's the craftsmen and your merchants. And 5% were the factory owners and the landowners. They were the wealthy people. <clears throat> so 5% of the people owned the wealth. 5% were middle class. Most people were illiterate, which means they did not get an education and they were poor. And so read about all of these different things. And then you can notice that we also are going to study the Industrial Revolution and what that entails. So go through and read about the Industrial Revolution. And then you will read about the Industrial London. And there is a video here, a YouTube video, if that will open for you. And then you'll read about workhouses and poor houses. And it played, all of these things played a big role in the play, A Christmas Carol. Also, if you look at the poor and the destitute, what was going on in the prisons and the workhouses. Um, <clears throat> then we have the London's youth at the time. And the youth back then, most of them were not in school. In fact, only the wealthy kids and a few of the middle class kids actually had any sort of formal education. There were no public schools for children. Um, they were all put into the workforce at a very young age, three, four, five, six years old. They were already working full time, making money for their family. <clears throat> so more about the London's youth, you'll read about them. Here's Children of the Revolution. There are some YouTube videos for you to watch. And then this is, of course, Charles Dickens and all about what he was famous for and what he did. And then once you finish with that, you'll fill this in and turn it in. This is not quite on your own assignment. Um, good luck with this, and I hope you enjoy building this background knowledge before we start beginning our play tomorrow with our drama unit. <clears throat>